With the days of finding a blacksmith in every community across Long Island are long gone. The only needs to talk it. We're at the Tucker Jones house, but they're finding an entertaining way of keeping the art of blacksmithing alive. We're at the Tucker Jones House Tavern Puzzle Shop, and what we do here is we make tavern puzzles. Tavern puzzles are iron disentanglement puzzles. Presently, we're making 30 different designs. We started out in 1981 making three designs, and we've added a new design every year, and now we're up to 30. I started as an apprentice blacksmith at Old Bethpage Restoration Village when I was a young lad. I worked there for four years as an apprentice under a, a blacksmith who basically taught me how to make some of these puzzles as some of the first things I ever did in the blacksmith shop. Puzzles are made out of a recycled material. It's a hot rolled mild steel. It's the closest thing we can find today that's made to resemble iron and it's what the traditional blacksmith would have used. And basically what we do is we just take a long bar of steel and bend it into the different shapes to create the different puzzles. So no, we're back here in the shop and this is where it all happens. Walk me through the process. Okay, well we start out with our long bars that come straight from the mill. Okay. Uh, from there we cut them into a specific size length and then through a series of bends we make a finished part. So sometimes when you're bending it, you'll get into a portion that's even harder or a little softer than the rest of the bar. So it, it can really make things um, change a little bit here and there, which and is why you see... experience really... And, and it's also where the ambles come in. So we're going to start with the piece that you made okay. and the piece that we have already made. And we're going to pry that ring open. A little bit more, a little bit more, perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna take the part that we made and we're gonna hook that in from the outside. You're gonna place that into the eye that you've made. There you are. There it is. And now you're gonna take the tool that you pried that open with and you're gonna unpry it back to where it started. And now if you wanna whack it down a little bit, close that eye up a little bit, yep. So go ahead. Now the next step is to put that ring into place. So if you take the little ring, and then put that through the ring, put that there and pry towards me. Almost, <laughs> almost. <laughs> and this is why I work in TV. Looks easy, doesn't it? It, it, looks, <laughs> it looks a lot easier. Would you like me to do that for you? I got it. No, I, I, I okay. got it. I got, All right. it. I got it. I got it. All right, here we go. This is it right there here. There it goes. There it is. Spin the notch. You're going to pry it around. Here it goes. It's going. Keep going. Oh, you have it. You have it. Pop. Perfect. There it is. Okay. There we go. Now the last step is going to put the object piece onto the puzzle. This piece. Yep, and it, since right. I know how it works and you don't, maybe I should do that. Well, we've all seen my skill level. To make sure it works, we're going to make sure that that ring goes through the inside. That fits very nicely. We're going to place the um, object piece through that ring. So it all works very nicely. It goes through, it goes in. It comes down to the center. Up, through, and on. Okay, let's Beautiful. see if I can this backwards so it's it's pretty simple yeah <laughs> it's something that I enjoy I like to make them and we've gotten quite a quite a following of Collectors. Well, probably our most famous customer is George Bush, and I'm talking about George Bush Sr., not Jr. And he had once sent us a request for the solution to one of our puzzles called the Dirty Dog. He could not solve it. I think that's one reason why I did get into the puzzles. It does give me a chance to uh, make a tabletop sculpture that has another function, that is to uh, entertain. And, but it gives me uh, the ability to, to be creative and come up with shapes that, that are pleasing. That's really what a blacksmith does. Well, I didn't pick up a new trade today, but I think I'm going to pick up a new hobby. And if you want to give it a shot, visit tavernpuzzle.com.